Tick 5B is asking students to solve linear inequalities. It says the student is expected to solve linear inequalities in one variable, including those for which the application of the distributive property is necessary and for which variables are included on both sides. It sounds very similar to the solving uh, linear equations TEK because it is. The process is also very similar. Um, that's 5A if you need to go back and see that. A problem for a linear inequality will look very, very similar to an equation, except that instead of an equal sign, you're going to have one of the four inequality symbols. The four inequality symbols are greater than, or it might be less than, it might be greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. The rules for all of these things stay the same as long as you know how to use them. So if we're looking at this first example, we're gonna use the same process we did for solving equations to solve this inequality. We start off with distribution. We have to distribute the number in front of the parentheses to everything inside to deal with that multiplication step. So we would multiply 2 thirds times 3 and 2 thirds times 9. 2 thirds times 3x um, is 2x. And 2 thirds times 9 is 6. Bring down the symbol, just like we brought down the equal sign, we're just going to call it by its name, which is greater than. Then we distribute again. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. And negative 2 times positive 6 is negative 12. Just like the steps for solving an equation, we're going to move things around so that we have our equation organized with all of the letters on one side and all of the numbers on the other. To do that, I'm going to use inverse operations to add or subtract, multiply or divide uh, the numbers around so that I have everything where I need it. Save space, I'm going to do two steps at once. That's not what I wanted to do. That should also be a minus 6. Minus six. So that everything is brought down as a negative 18. Now, instead of putting an equal sign down there, I'm going to continue to write the symbol that is provided for me in the problem, which is greater than. Follow the same rules. We divide by the number that's left, the coefficient of the variable, and we get x is greater than negative 3. Now, that expression still tells me the numbers that are going to make this inequality true any particular number that I plug into this original equation that happens to be greater than negative 3, negative 2, 0, 5, 8,000, is going to make this a true mathematical statement. If I choose something that's not greater than negative 3 for my x, like let's say negative 5, that's smaller, this would not become a true mathematical statement. We're trying to create true mathematical statements here. Now, this is more than just one single number though because I can list out a ton of numbers that are greater than negative three, that means we have no longer just one solution, we have what's called a solution set. There is one important note to make when we're dealing with inequalities, and it's the only change from equations that we have to deal with. If by chance we, are, we have at the end of an equation, let's say negative two x greater than 10, you tell me that to solve this inequality, to isolate the x, to get the x by itself, we would divide by negative 2. Now when we divide or multiply by a negative, when we're dealing with inequalities, we get an extra step. This is the only difference. Not, you know, the numbers stay the same. I still get x and negative 5, but I have to flip the inequality sign when I include it in my answer. Uh, this has to do with properties of numbers and the absolute value in dealing with negatives. So when we divide by a negative number, the inequality sign flips over. So instead of it being an open mouth to the left for the greater than, I'm going to make the open mouth to the right for less than. And that would be my final answer. So again, the solution set is only, or the inequality sign is only changed in my solution set if I multiply or divide by a negative number. Only change from equations. Now, to help us with this, we have a visual aid that's part of our uh, supplemental aid. Uh, what this little face guy is going to help us remember is a few properties of inequalities that helps us out for right now when we're solving, as well as later on when we graph these inequalities. What we need to remember is that these symbols are called exclusive. They're both the not or equal to. So this is less than and this is greater than. Okay, It symbolizes an open circle on a number line, exclusive. The ones with the lines underneath them, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, since it has half of an equal sign, see why it's called that? These are called inclusive and they're shaded in circle on a number line. 
Now the nose of this guy is super helpful because it reminds us that if we divide by a negative number, we're gonna to have to flip that inequality sign. So when we're dealing with inequalities, we wanna check out this guy to help us remember some of the important parts, especially later on when we get to graphing. So again, just a quick check on the inverse operations here because we wanna make sure we've got this down. Inverse operations is almost exactly the same as when we did this with, in, with equations. X plus five less than or equal to two. I'm still gonna use the inverse of adding five to, to solve or isolate this variable. This would be X, keep the sign, less than or equal to negative three. That's the solution set for this particular tiny equation. X minus four greater than or equal to three. I'm gonna add four to both sides because it's the inverse of subtracting. So then I have a solution set that says X is greater than or equal to seven. Now multiplying and dividing, remember, is when we need to put our little cautionary gear on for inequalities because if we are going to add or subtract, or wow, multiply or divide by a negative, we're going to need to flip our sign. For example, we have negative three X less than nine. To isolate the X, we're gonna to have to divide by negative three on both sides. Well, that's, that's the ringer right there. We gotta remember that when we write down our answer, just taking you know the numbers the way they go, we have to have to have to remember to flip that sign over to keep a true mathematical statement. So the uh, solution set here would be x greater than or equal to negative three, since that sign flipped over. Doesn't happen every time you multiply or divide though, because remember, if we're gonna be multiplying by a regular number here that's not negative to isolate my variable, I do not have to flip the sign. This would still just be x greater than 10. I do not have to flip the sign unless it's negative. Negative numbers when you're multiplying and dividing is the big one here. So an example of this question from a star test might ask the following. They could say, which inequality describes all of the solutions to five, three minus x less than negative two x plus six? We can handle this. We know we need to be able to distribute any number in front of parentheses. Five times three is 15. Five minus X is negative five X. And we bring down anything that we didn't have to distribute. Distribution step, done. Now we solve using our equations or inequalities uh, structures. So we're going to move all the variables to one side using inverse operations. And to save time, I'm gonna also move my constants so that at the same time, here's what happens. These cross out, the x's or variables combine to negative three x, bring down my symbol. Inverse operations cross out, and we'd end up with negative nine. The next step would be to isolate the variable using inverse operations. Well, the current operation of negative three x is multiplication, so we undo that by dividing we would get x and three, but I really hope you remember that we just divided by a negative number. So what do we have to do? Flip the sign. That sign gets flipped over and we no longer have a less than sign, we have a greater than sign. So our solution set would be x greater than three, which is answer choice B. So remember, this is exactly like solving equations. The only difference is that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, like in this example, you have to flip that symbol to write your solution set at the end. Remember, we empower, we impact, we love, we are Skeeter Nation.